Here we are at the... Sanitation and maintenance group. Apparently there is a whole selection here of... Wet ones. Garbage bags. Mops. Lots of mops. So I guess you guys did such a good job in sanitation that they didn't have to shut down the park, huh? No, yeah, it's bigger than that. It's big victory yesterday. It was 4,000 plus people yesterday. 4,000 people. I know, I was here yesterday. And you, they, I guess they didn't need professional cleaners. The people did it, right? Even if they did, they couldn't get any. The we don't need you know, any even, of even if they could, they couldn't get any. They wasn't gonna try to run. No, there was too much willpower. There's too much enthusiasm. It wasn't gonna happen. It was all in the block. You can't even stand in the streets. Police couldn't even push them out. We the had people. We had people from the here. church willing to stand here and guard us. Yeah. We had the we had representatives in the unions that were gonna link arm in arm and stop people from coming and peaceful protests from coming in here. Mayor Bloomberg is a fool. Mayor oh. Bloomberg doesn't know anything about this community. It was a personal slap in the face to me, who has been working 24-7 on the sanitation group to, to make sure this place is a safe place to live. And he doesn't know anything. He's trying to get us out of here. He does not support this occupation because he is Wall Street. He is the 1%. He's a billionaire. We asked him if we could have dumpsters and porta potties on site to help in sanitation, and he denied our request for those. Then he turns around and says we're unsanitary. You need to ask Mayor Bloomberg what his true intentions are, because he's a liar. He does not care about this community at all. And I would love to personally say that to his face, because I worked around the clock, did not sleep, to make this place pristine to meet Brookfield at the at the gate. And uh, you know what? I'm going to continue to work to prove to everybody that we are not unsanitary. And that was a bold, unfair statement for him to say. So, so Lauren, you yes. mean that you're, you're not just a bunch of unemployed, dirty hippies like they tell us? I'm yeah. Tired of hearing that. Yeah. You know what? I'm tired of hearing that. You're tired I'm, of hearing that, I'm right? I'm very tired of hearing that from me. You, you, if Bloomberg or anybody was to come down here that's an elected official that's in that 1% will come down here and have a proper dialogue with us, he would be very surprised of how informed everybody, how informed most people are here in this park and not just here but around the world. This is spread in Thailand. I read the news, I read mainstream media, I read underground, I read the BBC, I read all of that. I'm very politically informed. And, you, and everybody in the world is informed of what is going on. They know this is something big and they know that we're not going to stop. This generation is a generation of innovative thinkers and we're not going to just roll over and die just because you say, okay, your park is dirty. So you gotta move. No, we didn't occupy. We can clean ourselves. We're all adults, and we can manage ourselves. That's exactly what we're gonna do until they get the message, get the picture that we've had enough. And that's just that right there. It's, it's, it's no politics. That's as raw as it's gonna get. Very my good. Is, my name is Thomas. So, Thomas Roberts. My name is Thomas Roberts. I work in sanitation. If any any elected official, the commissioner of the city, want to come down here and have a dialogue or talk about it or debate about it or whatever, we're not moving. We're not moving. It's just that simple. Thank you. Thank you.